All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. So, um, today, as you can see in the title and by what we have here, today we are going to be doing another review. What? Another review? That, that's something my girlfriend used to do all the time when she would get like nervous and excited. She would go like this in front of her face. Funniest shit ever. Anyway, so today we are reviewing something a little different. I mostly go with heavily pre-thinned, uh, dense pigment paints like this brand Splash here or uh, stuff like this. Don't judge my bottles. I'm not a clean person when it comes to paint. Hobby Mio, you know, or even better, the king themselves, all clad, right? But I wanted to embark on a journey to get better as a modeler and to expand my knowledge of paints and my techniques. So with that being said, I have not cast them off, but for the time being, I have decided to focus more on unthinned paints that I have to mess with myself. In comes this bad boy right here. Now, I'm gonna preface this because I know the people that are seeing this are already probably gonna be commenting about it and saying that this isn't the right thinner. Trust me, motherfuckers. I know it's not the right thinner. And the reason I know this is because I'm part of a Facebook group, Gumpla Builders Tips and Tricks, and I got told numerous times that it wasn't right after I had already purchased it. That being said, the results you're gonna see are used with the incorrect thinner. And to be honest with you, I think that I did not make the worst choice ever. So let's get into it, take a look at these, and hopefully you'll see what I mean when I say I didn't make the worst choice ever, okay? Now, I've seen other modelers do this. I have not done this thus far, but this has been sprayed with the, oh God, you can barely see it, Galeri Advanced uh, GHAD GAD 39. This is their beginner model, comes in a uh, 0.35 and a five millimeter nozzle. I sprayed this with the 0.35 millimeter and these are the results I got, okay? And uh, also for the thinning ratio, I did something a little different as well. I went two to one uh, thinner to paint. So these are pretty thinned out, a lot more thin than I'd say a lot of other people do. I've heard one to one, and I've also heard one to 1.5, but I've heard from Barbatos Rex on YouTube, which I will link his videos down below, that that's something that you can do and that you can use this thinner. So with that information, that's how I proceeded, okay? So let's just go color by color here. Uh, I tried to get the Roy G. Biv sort of thing going on uh you know red skip orange yellow green skip blue uh wait no skip not skip whatever i got most of the fucking rainbow okay i'm not made of money here and i ordered these so and i'll also put the link down below for where i got them i got them from uh gundam pros which uh, is another thing that barbatos rex they work with them a lot i'm not sponsored or in affiliation with either of them just letting you know really cool people really cool stuff um, all right, let's just lower this down a bit. Or actually, you know what? Now, if we do that, some of the hues might get, you know, messed. So, all right, here we go. So this is the first one we're gonna be looking at today. This is uh, Mr. Metallic Color GX, GX204 Metal Blue. Metal Blue. So the cap is kind of hard to see on camera. It doesn't come up nearly as metallic and shiny but trust me when you see it so this is what jesus focus all right this is what we got here okay man autofocus is not auto focusing at the moment this is what we got with this and to be honest with you i'm pretty damn happy oh and i also want to preface this is sprayed on a an unprimed gloss black spoon um so yeah, I just want to get the shiniest consistency I could. And if you see, if you see, might not come up. You see, yeah, that metal flake, the, the graininess to it. I think that's how it's supposed to look. And to be honest with you, I really like it. Uh, I think that this is going to be a really cool addition. 
perfect. So you know what? And I'm gonna lower this just so I don't have to go so damn far up and down and shit. Um, yeah, so this is the, this is the metal blue. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. I'm thinking about, I don't know, I have a hundred thousand ideas for these and stuff, but I'm just not sure, you know? Like, for example, like this guy right here, it would be really cool to do like the metal blue for the, the dark blue on here, you know? But I don't know, I, I really don't know what the application for these are gonna be. It's just kind of one of those things that I wanted to do and I did it, so. Next is the uh, ooh, ooh, Metal Violet GX207. This one comes up a lot better. Maybe, oh yeah, yeah, it's, okay, so it's an angle thing here. But yeah, you can see these caps are very good tell signs, I'd say. And um, if it, I, again, not having really done a lot of unthinned uh, or not pre-thinned paints, I didn't really know how close it was gonna be, but damn, I mean, I kind of wish they did these colored caps and stuff with the, uh, with like, you know, splash and whatnot, just because these caps are perfect. I mean, they're perfect, perfect. Almost like they mix the pigment in with the plastic. It's, it's really good. Um, and let me center it up a little. All right, there, that's, ah, whatever. <laughs> what, this is not a professional, uh, it's not a professional thing we got going here. All right, so moving on. This is GX203 uh, Metal Yellow. Now, I thought this was just gonna be kind of a gold. On the contrary, I do not just think it's some type of gold. Like, it really is yellow, yellow. It gives me serious Easter vibes. Um, God, I got particulates all over it. Um, but man, look at that. J just like, again, the graininess of it, but not, but it's still like, smooth you know like it's the metal flake i'm just not uh accustomed to that sort of thing and i'm honestly fucking in love with it so there we go that's metal yellow moving on we have uh gx202 metal red now this one did not come out exactly how i thought it would i don't know if i need to lay down a lot more coats i laid down the same amount of coats as the other ones um this one's more of like a there's one called metal peach and i'm gonna be honest with you this one looks a lot like metal peach but i read that label the same as you did it says metal red but yeah look at that oh my god let me see if i can get the good detail on that not bad oh man that's cool that's super cool that is so cool let me go back to the purple and look at it like super up close Oh, what? Hello. Hello. That's so cool. I love these. I really, really do. I also think the thinning ratio is just fine. I have no plans of changing it. It's, it seems to me to be pretty good. I'll take, you know, constructive criticism and whatnot, but I just don't want to be told that I'm flat out wrong because I mean, you can see the results, the results of the results. You know, I mean, it, it, it worked. It worked with a, lo a lot of thinner. It, it worked with a beginner airbrush. I think that a lot of, there were people telling me that to get the best result, to buy a better airbrush. And I said, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I can't even get all the colors, let alone just the, the most expensive airbrush, you know? And I think that that's a big problem in the modeling community, you know, is having to have the best of the best. Yeah, the best does the best, no doubt about that. That doesn't mean that anything below that is just like a zero, you know? I mean, there is a second place, there's a third place, there's a fourth place, you know? There are tiers to these things. And um, I think that the way that you go about it means a lot. I just think that, you know, there's not just one way to do these things. Went off into a little bit of a rant there, much more personal than I wanted to make it. But let's get back to the last color, which is GX205 Metal Green very very beautiful color this one and this one when i was spraying looked too similar to me but now that they're all dried up and stuff you know man was i wrong look at that again easter giving me easter vibes i'm not sure why it's like pastel -y in, a, in a way metallic pastel but man that's that's beautiful absolutely beautiful i was going to spray some gumpla pieces and whatnot um because again uh rex does that and such 
Um, but time constraints, life, you know the biz. Didn't really feel like doing that. But I think uh, I think that's actually pretty good uh, stopping point. I mean, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, th they're beautiful. I highly recommend them. I think that cost effective wise, we did the math and it was like, so if you go two to one, right? And this is an 18 milliliter jar. But if you did go two to one and they're like the 10 milliliter, like Tamiya style jars, then that's, uh, what is that? That's 20 milliliters of thinner to 10 milliliters of paint. And there's a 400 milliliters of thinner in each of these like triple stack ones, right? Which would mean that it can thin 20 bottles of paint. Okay, well with that metric, you then divide uh, the four, you divide the price of it, which was 4.99 by 20, which then comes uh, around about to about 75 cents. And then these cost 2.99, depending. Uh, th yeah, I think these were all 2.99. I know Tamiya's are 2.90 where I get them. So I think cost effective wise, yeah, it's more effort. Don't get me wrong, you know, but like, I think that it's, co it's pretty cost effective. I mean, all clad hovers around shit six seven maybe depending on where you get it um this is their enamel uh candy enamels but if you get their uh what's it called their chrome their chrome is like ten dollars because it's in such high demand you know but you can achieve that same sort of style with unthinned paints so so to, to, in conclusion uh in conclusion guys take the jump take the leap try it out do experiments and stuff you know get one color and a little bit of thinner one of these you know and just experiment try your best and see how it goes you know i mean sometimes you flop and you fail but as long as you get back up it's not a true failure okay i was just having this conversation with my girl yesterday you know i mean it doesn't matter that you didn't succeed the first time as long as you keep trying you can always overwrite that failure okay now if these didn't go the way i wanted them to I can't give up. Not only did I already buy it, it's because I wanted an outcome, you know, and I got to work to get that outcome. I'm going to be doing another review very soon. Of, it's in my series of unthinned, unprethinned paints, and I'm going to be doing Tamiya's uh, acrylic hybrid paints. And uh, I just sprayed these, and I'll give you a little sneak peek. Boop. And boop. Look at that. So these are actually for a, a birthday gift for my brother. Don't tell him, shh, be quiet about that. But these are their flat ones. So the review for that's gonna be coming out very soon. I might get some more colors, but yeah, guys, experiment, have fun. Um, have fun builders, all right? And I love you guys. Uh, I will see you in the next video whenever the hell that comes out. And if you have any questions about the processes or any of the tips, not only will it be beneficial to leave it in the comments, I will link the video to Barbatos Rex if you need a real in-depth professional look at how to do this, okay? Love you guys. Bye.